Good night. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I'm an assassin. What's up, my immune friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival. All right, so there's been an update. Let me go through the update very quickly uh, before we get started. Uh, loot respawn has been added to the game. Only resources slash items that appear on the ground will respawn, and this will only activate um, only one time after day 10. I will remove this feature after release 0 0.2 point xx because in the new version there will be a mining system and you'll be able to mine what you need all right so the, the basic idea is there's no mining system yet so he's going to put on um loot respawn but it's going to be very limited all right and um and after that once he gets into mining he's going to remove loot respawn okay car battery no longer drains durability only uh crashes will drain durability with the car battery um increase meat and bear corpse lifetime Game no longer auto saves after revive and improved save system. And that's an experimental thing. Okay. Now, when I respawned, uh, I was right by some bandits. I ran away. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, if you're playing after this update, I none of my none of my keys were working. Your My key mapping thing got screwed up. So if that happens to you, just go to your key mapping and do defaults and then reset your key mapping however you like. Um, a lot of these like weren't here. All right, so my key mapping got screwed up. If you're playing after this update and something's messed up, come to this, do defaults, and that should fix everything. Also, just give you guys a heads up, I'm going to be playing around the volume a little bit to try and get the volume straight. Um, I'm not going to do this on camera, but I'm just going to let you know if the volume seems a little weird here and there, that's why. Also, when I spawned in, there were some uh, bandits over here. Um, there was actually like three or four of them, right? I killed one. Um, but I didn't get it on camera, but I want to show the other, I want to show the other kills, um, assuming I get any other kills. All right, so let's see how we're doing here. So they were patrolling all over the place, and there was quite a few of them. So let's see how this goes. I'm going to go ahead and save the game, and let's see what we can do here. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to take them head on, which kind of sucks, but there's quite a few of them here, man. At least there, maybe I can run up there and fight from the top. Okay, not seeing anybody now. I don't think they disappeared. Let's just let's just run up here really quick. All right, so there's nobody up here. They didn't disappear, did they? Oh, they might have disappeared. Huh? Because I'm not seeing them now. They were all over the place. So, not quite sure where they done got to. But I'm going to wait until the fog's done. I don't know what I'm going to do today, guys. Honestly, um, I think I'm going to do some building. But I also have some... Uh, you know what? Let's just do it now because this is a good time to do it. Your suggestions. Okay, these are a lot of good tips you guys gave me. Knife trees to get bark. I wrote all these down. Knife trees to get bark. Block windows with lockers and cars. Um, I was thinking about putting cars in front of the, my main door so bandits can't get in. Every time I leave my house, just park a car right in front of the, my main door. What do you think? Um... Stand on a briefcase to try and fly. That was actually fixed in this update, so I'm not going to bother with that. Um, I'm not saying it was fixed, but, you know, uh, maybe I'll mess around with it later. But he said he fixed it. So, Green bottles make booze. Also, I'm going to try and make Molotov cocktails at some point, see if I can do that. Um, I can get scrap by breaking jungle gyms, trash cans, and other things. So I need to look out for things I can break for scrap. Okay. Um, fill big barrel with water, bring back. Okay. So you remember that big water barrel, the, the one that is at my main base? Um, I could carry that to the, to the uh, lake, fill it up from the lake and then bring it back. And that would be like a ton of water. I could bring back very quickly in one trip. So I might want to do that as well. Someone wants me to try and put a chicken in a car. Um, melt down tools. I don't think you can melt down tools, but it, it's definitely worth a try. And my chicken's name is Bobby. Damn it, Bobby. Uh, that's a really cool name for a chicken. So that is awesome. Okay, guys, I should be pulling up to my house soon. Um, I'm just going to record just in case we got some bandits at our door. Wouldn't really surprise me. I saw some bandits on the way home, by the way. Oh, and um, I, I like uh, when I climbed down from that like high vantage point I was at, there was no bandits, so I didn't bother recording it. Got any bandits here? Nope. Just Kate. Okay, Kate, how's it going? going on Kate I got some fat loot all right so if the battery doesn't go bad anymore can I shut off the car I'm gonna shut off the car I like the idea of shutting off the car what's up Kate how's it going you gonna starve to death Kate hey. I don't know maybe oh she's got like no health 
Dude, she eats too much though. Like, I don't think, so I don't think she does anything either. So I'm just gonna let her starve to death because, I mean, she drank something the other day and she was like dying of thirst like the next morning. I can't, I can't afford that, Kate. <laughs> I can't afford that. And sorry, it's 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 you or me, and it's not gonna be me. All right, all right. So I am back home, guys. There is no problem. Uh, I saw some bandits all the way home. No big deal. Uh, the bandits at the compound I was at when I was gonna start recording, there was no one there, so I didn't record. And it is day nine, and remember, loot will respawn on day ten. So that is freaking awesome. I'm gonna spend the night here doing some inventory management. I'll see you in the morning. All right, guys, and we are back. It is early in the morning. I've moved just about everything into the house. You might be saying, well, why didn't you move everything into the house? <laughs> well, oh man, this is so annoying. That lock chest I made, remember that locked, um, uh, where is it? The security locker? It's too tall. I can't get it out of the damn building. So freak, freaking annoying. What are you going to do? I got everything else over here. I threw all my car parts in here along with the water barrel. Um, I got Kate here. She's doing just fine. She hasn't starved to death yet. I actually gave her some food and drink, but man, like I said, she goes through it way too quickly. But here's the thing. She does pick up stuff off the ground. She had some potatoes and, um, and blueberries on her. She, she like, uh, scavenges stuff off the ground. So I got my workbench here. I actually wanted to put my workbench upstairs, but I couldn't get it up the stairs. Kate refused to help me because I wouldn't feed her. You know, I can't blame her. Can't blame her. Uh, this stuff down here, I'm just going to show you what I've got down here really quick. I haven't quite finished up... Um, doing all of the organization, but I kind of ran out of time. That chicken is going to get on my nerves. I need to do something about him. Um, we might get that. We might get to that today. We might not. I was just showing you everything, by the way. Um, up here, uh, I gave uh, Kate a sleeping bag as well. I'm hoping she uses that. I moved the chicken into this room, and I've got all my storage lockers right here. There's all my drink. Actually, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and eat and drink. I think my food's right here. I still have to organize. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and have a drink. Now, moving all this stuff over wasn't that bad. I pretty much had unlimited stamina because what I would do is I would just chug water even when I didn't need it. And it pretty much gave me unlimited stamina, which was really nice. So we got that. All right, let me show you the rest of these really quickly. Um, yeah, I got a soda in there. It doesn't belong there. I got all this. And I got this. Uh, we'll take those nails. Okay, the first thing I'm going to want to do today is let's go ahead and make ourselves a drying rack and then I'm gonna kill that son of a freaking bee bear. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go bear hunting. Alright. Um can we break this up? Let me see. Um we can move it. But I don't want to move it. I wanna break it up. There we go. Oh cool. That's what I wanted. Yeah that was nice. There's a lot of stuff I could break open break up in this game that I didn't know and you guys told me about so ooh a gear. Did a gear fall out of that? Wow, if a gear fell out of that, that's pretty freaking amazing. Pretty freaking amazing. So let's go ahead and move some stuff here. Let's, and uh, I'm going to put the drying rack in here. I wanted the drying rack outside, but I don't want it outside outside. Uh, I saw Game Edge put it in here, and I thought that was a cool idea. So I'm going to do the same. So that looks pretty good right there. And let's go ahead and build that with the wrench that we, that we don't even have. There we go. And interact. Drying rack. Um, text block, text block, text block. <laughs> I don't know how this works. Um, don't we have to make drying rack things? Yeah, we have to make... Oh, you actually need salt to use the drying rack. Oh, okay. Well, the drying rack's probably not going to be that useful then. Because we don't have a lot of salt. And I don't think we can make salt. All right, while I've got my axe out, let's come on over here and I'll show you something else that you guys told me about. We're going to go ahead and break this. And break this. And break this. That's right. We got no kids here. It's just me and Kate. We don't need any place for kids to freaking play. There will be no playing in Cage's compound. And I'll tell you guys, leaves are a pain in the butt. Um, in order to make... I want to make a tanning rack before I before I kill the bear. But I don't think I'm going to get around to that. Um, you know. So, And I think the drying rack was kind of a waste of time. Because I think it's only for food. And I think in order to use it, I have to do this. Um, slice me fermented. It could be kept for a long time. I don't know. Maybe I don't need it. I'm not really sure. We're going to have to kind of see. Um, but I have been chopping down a lot of stuff and trying to make rope. I've only got two rope. I need six for the tanning rack. So probably will not get to that today. All right. Let's come on up here and throw some stuff on the ground. There we go. And we're going to keep... Uh, 
this bark in here. Bark is another thing I wanted to get. In order to get bark, you just use the knife on trees. Also, I'm down to my last axe, and I'm already halfway through it. So we're probably going to have to do another looting video, and I'm actually going to have to take the axes. Unfortunately for me, I don't remember where they are. Now, what do I need to upgrade this? Because this is the next thing I want to do. Yeah, I need... Oh, I only need two. All right, well, let's upgrade it. Um, do I have everything on me? I think I do. Why isn't it up? Do I have to hold it down? Click click gear to upgrade. Am I missing something? Eight of six. Oh, seven of ten. Okay. I thought it would have been red if it was, like, not enough. Okay. Well, that's fine. We've actually got quite a bit of wood, obviously. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and take that. And then we're going to go right here. And then we're going to do twice. That'll take an hour and a half. No big deal. I still need to go back to my old base and get the car. Uh, and I still... Well, I was going to swing by the... I, there was something I needed six gears for, and I can't freaking remember. It's probably the generator. So we're probably going to swing by uh, the old farmstead and uh, make ourselves some more gears. All right, there we go. Upgrade. Now this is going to allow us to make the longbow, although I saw you could find the longbow, so I'm not really sure how I want to handle that. Um, so let's see. So saw okay gas can we can make lock picks lock picks are a lot cheaper oh small animal trap oh that's a good one let's uh let's make the small animal trap um what did i need for it? duct tape i know i have some duct tape somewhere i just i like i said i haven't organized everything completely yet it was actually upstairs oh look at this thing oh it's got that big like uh drill thing on it it looks different i'm not sure how much different but i know this is new because it looks really weird. All right, so let's find that. Okay, so what else can we make? We can make the heavy, uh, the, or the longbow. Uh, we can make the tactical quiver. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and make the small animal trap. Handmade small trap used for trapping small animals such as uh, rats or rabbits. A bait is required for installing the trap. What do we use as bait? Oh, look, I can assign it to her. Oh, but she's actually going to take the full time. No. Proceed. There we go. Actually, she will take the full time. Oh, no. I'm doing it now. Okay. So that should be just about done. There we go. Okay. What do we bait it with? Oh, boy. Should we go around and assassinate? Eh. It's, it's, I don't know. It's pretty cool to go around and assassinate, but I just, I got, I got more important things to do. I got more important. Actually, I could just set this right now. It doesn't matter if it's dark out. Or, um... Oh, he scared the crap out of me. I almost shot her a couple times, by the way. <laughs> Alright, six. So, where should we put this? Let's just put it... Let's just put it right here. Okay. Uh, fresh setup bait. Um, so, what can we use as bait? Do we have some broccoli or something? It said we could use that as bait. But what else can I use as bait? I don't know. We're going to have to find out. Where'd that broccoli go? I don't remember where I put it. All right, guys. Let's see if we can find a bear. We're not going to get as much done today as I thought, but what are you going to do? We, we moved. We set up some. Uh, we set up one crafting station. I'd like to set up a generator. Um, I'd also like to find out what I'm supposed to use for fuel with that... Um, with that, or what I'm supposed to use for bait. I know I've gotten broccoli that could be used for bait, but I don't know what else I should be using for bait. Okay. You got me once, but not enough. Okay, so let's butcher this son of a bee. All right, so we can use that. Axe, butcher. Does it say which is best? I don't know. I'd imagine you'd want to use... Oh, wow. I don't know which one would be best. Let's butcher his face. Hard to use, good to use, best to use. No tool found. Okay, so we should make the machete, which isn't really called a machete, but... All right, so let's go ahead and butcher that guy. 15 minutes, sounds good. Our first bear kill. I'm loving it. Okay. So is that it for his head? Okay. Let's take out his paws. Um, is there nothing down there? Okay. So we could do this. Okay. Here we go. Um, we want the meat. We want the animal fat. We want the we want the guts. The guts are what we really want. It's going to take nine freaking hours. Um, we'll probably be attacked in that time. Let's... Oh, seven hours? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, let's go with 519. Best to use, hard to use, hard to use, not found. Okay. All right. This might be a bad idea. We might get jumped by some uh, infected. 
Can you cancel it at any point? I'm not really sure. And I'm really thirsty. Okay, well, we'll see how things go here. So we are getting some hide and the guts. The guts we're going to need to dry out. I don't know what you're supposed to dry those on, though. Um, I, some people were saying, like, uh, dry them on the uh, drying rack, but then it might be the tanning rack. I, I just don't know. All right, so he should be there in the morning. So we're going to go home. Um, we are starving and thirsty, so let's go ahead and have some canned some canned uh, fruit. And then we're going to go home and rest and come back in the morning. We should be okay to get back. Now, that bear should still be there in the morning. So what the hell is this? Damn, I'm bleeding out. All right, guys, we came back to the house. Um, the bear might have to wait for next video. It depends on if the uh, if these guys give me any you know more trouble. But here's my M4 with the bullets um, in it. So we'll see what we can do. Uh, let's go ahead and save. And um, do I have any more bullets in the trunk? I do. Not many more, but some. Yeah, man, that um that shotgun's got a lot less range than I thought. I didn't expect the shotgun to have a lot of range, but, I mean, I did blast him a few times. I don't know. I'm not sure if he had, like, some kind of armor on or if I, if I was just too far away. Might, might have just been too far away. Oh, stop crashing into things. Make up your mind, Cage. I wasn't sure if I wanted to turn left here or turn left farther up ahead. So, but I don't know if these guys are going to be there. So, we're just going to have to see. And, um, you know, we'll get the bear tomorrow morning if, if they are not here. Nah, doesn't look like everybody's here. Alright, I'm gonna bring this out. I might actually kill the bear tonight as well. Just let it sit there, and then, like, I could just gut him in the morning. Maybe. We'll see. But what I want to do is I want to bring this water container over to the water source and see if I can fill it. Um, without bottles. I, I think I probably need bottles, but if I do, then I'll just, um, I'll leave it out here and I'll fill it tomorrow. But let's see, let's see if we can fill this without bottles. Probably need bottles. But you never know. Okay. Can we, um... No. Fill the bottle. Yeah, we got to fill a bottle. And we can't put that in the in this little bottle spot. So I'm going to leave this here, and I'll come back and uh, fill that up tomorrow. I just got to get a bunch of bottles, fill them, fill them, put them in there. I mean, it might not be faster, but I, I kind of want to give it a shot. Just to see how, if it's cool or not. Alright, so where is this freaking bear... And I gotta pick up any leaves I come across as well. Alright, we got a bear right here. I'm gonna try and nail him with the uh with the nine mil. Okay, got him. Right, I'm gonna leave the corpse there. I'm not even gonna bother doing anything. Well, I do have a little bit of time. Let's let's do some of the skinning while we have time. Maybe we can at least get the head. So how long will the head take? Best use there. 30 minutes. Sounds good. We'll just do the head and then we'll go back. I don't know if you can do anything with the legs. It didn't give me the option. So. Alright, let's get back. I'm going to take this out just in case I got any nasty surprises back at base. Nope. Looks like just Kate. Okay. Very good. Alright, let me sleep through the night. Then we'll go butcher that bear. That freaking chicken is getting on my nerves. <laughs> uh, I got to get him in a coop and get him the hell out of here. All right, so it is the morning. I went ahead and passed the night. Um, check out over here. I actually found some salt and set up the drying rack. Uh, basically, obviously, when you find some salt, you just go ahead and salt the dry meat, and then you put it on the drying rack. You can't put regular meat on the drying rack. Now, oh, I didn't really want to do that. Uh, there we go. You just put these on the drying rack. You can't put regular meat on here. It just falls off. And the problem with the drying rack is... Uh, you know, salt is limited and you can't craft it, so it's going to be very, very limited in its use. Uh, I'm assuming I'm going to loot all the salt in the game, and then that's going to be it, you know? Also, I went ahead and recorded this already, but I'm recording it again, because you need to have a lot of room in your inventory for this bear, okay? Also, we're going to go through the mist. Uh, when I was butchering the bear... In the part of the video I deleted because it kind of like screwed me. Um, what happened was I... You could get... Ten, uh, four units of... Oh, maybe I did get enough. Two units. 
There we go. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I lost some stuff because I didn't have enough room in my inventory, which is basically what I'm trying to say here. All right, so that's the best to use. Let's go ahead and use this, and we will probably go right through the mist, and let's just hope we don't get attacked. You see, this stuff doesn't stack, and I think I lost stuff because of my inventory space. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Honestly, I'm not sure. And I didn't think that the animal fat would have a percentage. That's a bit of a problem, too. So the animal fat's probably going to go bad. I think we need a... um. I think we need a uh, a campfire and like a, a bowl. I forget what it's called. It's like a campfire with a little bowl under it or whatever. And I think we're probably going to have to make that. Probably next video. And we're also going to need a tanning rack like ASAP. All right. So let's go ahead and get the food as well. And by the way, letting this thing sit out here does not help you. Because look at what's look at what the percentage of stuff coming off. That stuff comes off at the percentage of the corpse. Which makes a lot of sense. But damn, that's rough. Okay, can we do anything else? Does not look like we can. All right, looks like we got everything off this guy. And I did we go through the mist? I don't even know. <laughs> oh boy, this stuff's going to spoil, and it's going to spoil quick. All right, guys, um, we're going to have to call this pretty soon. I've been recording for a long time. Uh, I know what you're saying. Make a campfire, cook the meat. I will, but I think I'm going to do it next video. What I want to do is I want to come down here. Remember I brought that big barrel down here? I got to see how much water that big barrel holds. Oh, look at this. Dead infected. Any more dead infected in this area? Oh, I need the feathers. I need the leaves. I need it all. Okay, so here's the thing. How much can this hold? Because each one of these bottles can hold two. So two, four, six, eight, ten. I, it'd probably be easier to just do this with bottles than to carry this thing back and forth, right? Right? How much does this hold? Um, oh, does it hold a hundred? Holy crap, if it does, that's insane. So what we do is, is this the best way to do this? Maybe a bucket would be better? I'm not sure if this is the best way to do this, but this is the idea. You come down here, maybe maybe I'll come down with a bucket next time. And you fill up all the... But the thing is, I can hold the water bottles. But the thing is, I can't hold 100 liters of water bottles in my inventory. So the idea is you would do this, and then... Nope, don't leave with it in there. You gotta take that out. And then you would put it in here. That doesn't make any sense, though. You'd have to do it with buckets. I'm not really sure. Um, you know, I'm kind of curious. I want to see how it works with buckets. My goodness. I walk around. I walk away from my base for like two seconds, and there's bandits there. So let's see if we can take these guys out. I saw one walking around. I didn't see anybody else. Oh, hold on. No, nope, don't need blueberries. Uh, I don't know where he went. I definitely saw him. I'm not crazy. Well, I might be crazy, but there we go. I'm gonna try and take him out. With the, uh, I'm gonna try and take out the pistol. What's up, buddy? Good night. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm an assassin. Okay, see another one over there. Whoa! Don't have enough ammo. Oh, got enough ammo there. Shut up, timer. That is like the worst time. And I'm hurting. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay. He just ran at me to die. Ah, oh, there's some ammo. Let's go ahead and uh, bandage that up. And we got shot in our leg. Bandage that up. Uh, severely wounded wounds uh, caused by severe injuries. Uh, very, very bleeding. If not treated, players can bleed to death. When the wound is affected, I guess it means infected, a red gauge would appear on the image. If the gauge fills up, the wound will open and get worse. The speed of the gauge is reduced if the player performs first aid. Okay. So you guys were telling me about that. Where's the red thing that they're talking about? Some red gauge? Am I just missing it? All right, let's go ahead and eat this. Okay, let's look around and see if there's any guns. Oh, you scared the crap out of me, lady. You almost got blasted. All right, uh, you know what? I think I'm going to call this one here, guys. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. 
I will see you next time. And until no, that's not how it goes. Do it, more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I can't forget to thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. You're awesome. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.